Before we get into the video, first off, massive shout out to the three members. And I actually want to talk about that for a second because I have started a members board, as you can see, Master Moldy Members. And what I aim to do is for every member we get, I haven't started it at the minute. In fact, I would only have just mentioned it to the Discord members after recording this video. But what I'm planning on doing is these are all 3D printed tiles at the top. And you could probably see that if you get really, really close. Obviously, we do not have the same consistency as the Lego bricks. But what I'm going to do is print everyone's name on a 1x4 tile, whichever name really they choose to be printed on a 1x4 tile. So for instance, we got three members, so we would have three names just along the top here and then room for plenty more members to join in the future. Now, what about when I end up eventually filling up this base plate, which hopefully we will. I mean, we can fit six across we can fit probably a hundred and something members on this base plate. Once we finish this one, I do have another white base plate that I probably will be able to use. I always wanted to whack it on my shelf with my clone army or droid army. My droid army ain't that big. My clone army is getting a little bigger than a base plate. So I have to think of something else for that, but I have two of these. And then once we fill both of these, I can just go and pick up another base plate. This is an official Lego base plate. You can see the logos on your screen. So let me know what you think of that down below. And any new members will, of course, be indicted onto the board of members. So now that is out of the way. Today, we're going to be looking at this Mandalore Ambush Battle Pack yet again because I don't feel like I am finished with this set. I've already done my review and thank you for everyone that watched that. I think that got nearly a thousand views in its first 24 hours and then didn't really go anywhere. But it's not really the best thing to watch someone just talk about in a video. So today we're taking this battle pack and we are going to make it worthy of any display. Now, if you've been on this channel before, you know, I like displaying some of the bigger models, but a lot of these smaller sets, a lot of the battle packs, they will temporarily be on display while I'm making a video about them, but I don't tend to keep them on display. The smallest things I've got displayed are my 1 to 45 minifigure scale ships, which are just behind Captain Rex. You might be able to see Anakin's Eater. And I guess the Sentinel mech. Actually, we've also got a tiny Ant-Man that I found in my minifigure tub, which honestly, no idea where that come from. It's one of the older Ant-Men, so I might have ordered them off Brick Owl, Bricklink at some point. But I don't really tend to display smaller models. Oh, we've got our brick heads as well displayed just behind the camera. But in terms of these rocky terrain builds, they don't look that good. So what can you do to improve? Well, there are three to four main things you can do. I'm including it as three, but of course I will eventually be whacking a ton more minifigures on this display. So let's get started and look at the first fix for displaying this battle pack. Not only are we adding another one of these crates because I really do love the crates and I'm trying to bring it forward a bit, but we are adding the Great Minds of Mandalore. It's a very simple build, the easiest of the lot. To be honest, this nearly takes up the same pieces as the rest of the build. I would have loved to get just a mine and perhaps another little flying accessory like we see on the original battle pack. But this whole fight is from the mines. The Mandalorians have just walked out of a Imperial tunnel and the commandos fly down. Some of them are actually standing around the top of the great mines themselves. So we could definitely have got something like this. And I think it would have gone a little better with the Paz Vizsla set. Obviously, we wouldn't have been able to clip it in, but it works displayed next to it. It's something that a load of people would want to see. But Lego have already done a Mandalorian Forge set and that come with the armor at Mando and Paz Vizsla. It really does display quite well with it and just bring the scene forward. You act this on a gray base plate or perhaps only whack the forge on a gray base plate and leave this ravine in between them. It just looks a little better than displaying multiple of these clipped together. And if you've got the figures from other battle packs, you can station a few more around and it just makes it look that much better. But this isn't the only thing you can do to improve the battle pack. As 
I think you could have just completely changed the build in the battle pack. I mentioned this here is the Imperial Hallway. Now, we do have a set that's a little like an Imperial Hallway, especially if you were fans of some of the Mandalorian Season 2 sets. You've heard about the Mandalorian Forge. Now I bring, full of Mandalorians, the Dark Trooper attack, specifically my Dark Trooper attack diorama because I have turned two of the sets into a diorama but if you have one it also works and you can see we've got a whole plethora of mandos there we got bow we got the armorer we got the fleet commander we got the four from the first battle pack we've got Paz Vizsla we got mando and we've got IG12 who I do have a short if you do want to know how to build an IG12 but this battle pack clips quite nicely onto them two studs you just saw off the center of the screen and just expands the Mandalore hallway. Now, we can even go one step further and include the Mandalorian Forge, which they're all somewhat fighting for, and then we can stack some of these crates to provide better cover for the Imperial Commando, and we're just slowly bringing the scene together. I think this looks really, really cool, just expanding it, and yes, I'm pretty sure there weren't a lift in any of the scenes, but you could always take the lift out and leave that bit open just to include the hallway bit on the side here. They're mostly panels, just build that onto any sort of plates and you can add that and just make it look one step further than just displaying the battle pack by itself. Now, what else can we do to improve this? Well, actually, I'm going to put something forward that I think should have been given instead of this build. Most battle packs we get from LEGO, you look at the 330 second Swamp Speeder or the 501st Specialist with the AV7 turret, the 501st with a Bark Speeder ATRT, the recent 2024 Clone vs Droid battle pack that comes with a Bark Speeder Tri-Droid. You get where I'm going here? They all come with a vehicle, not necessarily relevant to the scene, but we actually have quite a few different vehicles relevant to the scene. I think Asking LEGO to do a tight interceptor at this scale is completely just not doable in a hundred or so pieces. But something that is a hundred or thereabout pieces and also matches up to the price of this set. The value of these pieces on Bricklink right now is £9 something. And the value of the pieces in my minifigure scale Fang Fighter well, they're only £10, I can't remember the exact value, but they're £10 something, not too different from the value of the pieces in the set, and you can definitely use a few cheaper pieces, especially when the cockpit is concerned. There are a few smaller cockpits that might work better with the ship, but this is almost the same piece count as the battle pack we got, especially with the £20 price tag of this battle pack. It's more than feasible that we'll get something like an actual minifigure scale Fang Fighter in these size sets one day, especially with all the new pieces coming out. They could probably build this for half the pieces in a few years' time, but they could have given us a Fang Fighter. This would have gone amazing with our other Mandalorian displays. And I guess they already have a Fang Fighter on shelf, so they probably didn't even consider it. But I'd have loved for LEGO to release a 1 to 45 scale Fang Fighter. Their current one is in the region of 1 to 30. This is exactly 1 to 45 scale, which sizes up with the height of the figures. You can see there is a Mandalorian in there and it works with the scene. Perhaps you want to build my one and add it to the display. It does also work, especially if you've got a few shelves above. If you've owned the Mandalorian Starfighter from Clone Wars Season 7, this goes amazingly as an school, and you only need to buy one set of instructions or become a member and you can build a few of these. As I said, the model is only £10. If you're bricking them out in the UK, I'm sure overseas is a little cheaper, especially if you shop around and you probably own most of the pieces for yourself. These stickers here, you don't need to have with the build. They're just because I've used the Mandalorian Starfighter. So check out the Fang Fighter if you do want a minifigure scale version. And because it's smaller than Lego's 1 to 30, it sizes up a lot better with that Starfighter. Let me know which upgrade you prefer in the comments, the Mandalorian Great Forge, which I might have referred to as the mine earlier. I do apologize for that. We've also got the Imperial Corridor, full of the other Mandalorians in the scene. And we have the Fang Fighter. Let me know your favorite down in the comments. 
and thank you so much for making it to the end of another video now don't forget if you are looking to become a member you also get your own custom made tile with your name on it i think that is really really cool and something different than just buying a bunch of lego tiles and scribbling your name on it this will go not only for members but i think if anyone donates if we get around to streaming anytime soon and i get donations i'm not sure if i've got super thanks on the channel but if i do enable super thanks and you decide to donate i'll probably also whack your name on here just to say thank you so it's sort of members and super thanks so i might have to alter the top bit there but it's just to say thank you for supporting this channel going one step further and if you can't afford to become a member or donate that is perfectly fine just make sure you've liked the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome star wars mocks and may the bricks be with you always